Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna go start knocking down second cutting alfalfa. Starting to butt up, so we got a little bit of we got well, we got two days of good weather before it's gonna rain again, so we're gonna knock it. Well, it's the day after I mowed. I'm in the merger now. I was having some hydraulic issues there. So started now, the chopper's supposed to be here in 15 minutes and I have like one row made, so the stress will be high today. And it's getting on the dryer side. I mean, it's pretty good. It's good now, but if they don't start chopping, it'll just get on the dryer side. So they're gonna need to start. So I'll just be sweating a little bit. I got the air conditioner already turned up. I don't know if you can tell, but I got two rows up there made. I don't keep them busy for like two minutes, but they're not here yet, so we're all right. I'm gonna make an end row, or make an outside row, throw some of them together. This stuff's kind of short, so I'm putting like five rows together or more. So, wanna get a big row for the chopper. Not too big, but big enough. There's the merge, merge. It picks up these two rows and throws them onto that row. Then I'm gonna go back down the other side pick two more rows up and throw it onto this row so it'll be five rows with one makes it efficient for the chopper to go they're on the way i got something for them to mess around with but it'll be all right i wish there was a little more but when it don't rain what are you going to do so this is what we got there they are corky and dave have arrived now the pressure's on Corky, he was letting me run the chopper a little bit last week, but back in the merger I go. It's pretty fun. I'm on the next field. I try to go about between 8 and 10 miles per hour on this lighter stuff because it's not going to plug up. If it's heavy, you'll plug it up. That's the best way to learn to run a merger. Once you plug it up a few times, you slow down. First time I ever really did hardcore merge, and it was in Tall Timothy. I think I plugged it up three times that day, and after that, I don't, I don't do that anymore. I mean, every now and then, it'll happen, but I try to go the speed that the crop can feed through good enough. And if you go too fast, it'll throw it in balls, and it won't be good, and then Corky gets mad. So, on this lighter stuff, I think we're from right now, I'm going now nine miles per hour. Uncle Bob just got to the field. Which way I want to throw it is all on this coon box. You can split it, throw it left and right, speed stuff up, slow stuff down, all sorts of stuff to do to get it to wait the way you want it to be. I merge that whole little field over there into one row and they're on that already. It'll be alright. Got nothing but time for today, I guess. Just expensive time for the choppers here. Here comes Dave. Oh, Andrew and Parker in there too. I'm doomed. This is the only row merged, and that wagon's gonna take more than this row. So, Corky, you're gonna have to wait. There they are. Now to the next. We're into the good stuff now, finally. Chopper will be out here in no time. He's been like right behind me. I mean, right behind me I'm on the same row I'm on, so. Biggie. So in this last little bit on that bigger row there, we're just getting onto the row I'm finishing up, and all the merging's done. There they go. Well, Bob's up there unloading the last load. Big man's backing in. Unhook the wagon in here. <clears throat> there goes Bob with the last empty wagon. Now it's uh. My favorite thing, it's time to head back in the silo and do that stuff we showed you the first time around. On second thought, I think I'm gonna go do some secret farm work somewhere and hide. Let Adam take care of it. Well, I did not go hide. I felt bad, I didn't wanna let this poor boy go up there by himself. But look at that, no sweat at all. What happened here? That's what happens when you start getting fat. We got seven loads of um, haylage off the alfalfa. So right now, once me and Dave leveled the silo off, it was down nine foot, which I mean, is better than nothing with alfalfa when the buds start to show. We might as well mow it because it's done growing and that's the point we were at. 
so it wasn't gonna do us no good to leave it in the field. So we just knocked her down, got seven loads, brought us up to nine and a half feet down, or nine foot down. I mean, there's been worse years and worse times chopping, so at least we got it pretty much full. Sorry I didn't get better merger footage or outside footage because, you know, I just I had no time. They were on me the whole time and getting the job done is just a little bit more important than getting the video. No, it's not. Well, sometimes it's not, but <laughs> that chopper's not cheap to be here, so I got to keep going. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but hopefully next time we got a little better crop so I have more time to get out of the tractor and mount the camera somewhere. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. See you in the next one.